is that thing? A puppeteer. Every dead thing we've met was controlled by its anguish. Sebastian especially. The miners were wronged, but the woman Pennington locked up is at the root of it all. So what now? Pennington had Deborah locked up screaming. When she was dead, he ignored her. He's a disgrace. But Helen Priest is enthralled to a trickster spirit. She can't be trusted either. But eventually, we'll get the dark slides. Wisp-infested weed. Poor weed. What is it? A rush after the fight. It'll pass. It's Sebastian, isn't it? You know I'm me, right? That I'm no puppet. Hi. Do you, though? Hi. My head may say different, but I know it in my heart. Fresh air, at last. You did well down there, young man. Thank you, Master. Is it is justice. Justice long denied. Wait. Thought you'd been killed in the mines. Tomb blow lie dead in the mines. Neither one more word nor a move from you. The mines are cleansed of their madness, which is more than I can say for this room. You banished the thing in a pit. Truly, it's gone. Aye. The puppeteer is no more. The siege is lifted. Get excited. 
You're still up to your neck and shite. You've still to answer for what you did, and what you did not. I do not answer to civilians, nor to mutineers. You will answer to the dead. Once a woman in chains cried out and you did not listen. This is why you're cursed. Confess. Your future, and the future of many, depends on it. I'll confess there is no future. I'll confess our led us here to make our final stand. And we still stand. To that, I'll confess, and claim the credit. We fall one by one. Then we weep, we rage, but we stay loyal and true. Even the widows must stay true. Guilt eats you from the inside. You knew you should have braved the mines. You couldn't even bring yourself to do it. I choose to die in the light. There is nothing in the pit but darkness. There's more to this. An older guilt. A deeper fear. We return with answers to find you in full mutiny. Why now, Helen? Sebastian returned, disturbed. I thought he'd left you dead in the mines. Your mission had failed. I could no longer wait. Captain, why did you send Sebastian Priest down the mine? I knew quarantine would be trying. A competent commander was required to keep order, keep them alive long enough to recover. I chose my lieutenant. I erred. He was not competent. All died. Your husband was no hero, Mrs. Priest. You murdered him and now you take his honor too. Another nail in your well-earned coffin, Captain. So, Helen, thing is... Not now. She's not ready. You may be to blame for the tragedy in the mines, Pennington, or you may not. But the puppeteer wanted you dead. Some years back, you accused a local woman of witchcraft. You locked her up. The puppeteer was quite angry about that. At last the die stopped rolling my number has come up. I'll tell it now. I'll tell it all. When you slandered her, you knew there'd be a witch hunt. Why'd you do it? There was no slander. It was true. She was corrupt. She was evil. And she was a school teacher. Someone had to think of the children. It's horse shit, but he seems to believe it. We're getting closer to the truth. You acted irrationally. You blamed the plague on a witch, yet applied a quarantine. You recognized her in the puppeteer, didn't you? I'm sorry, puppeteer? That's what was in the mines, wasn't it? And you knew, didn't you? How long? For how long have you known? What I know and you do not would fill a library. Sebastian's sway over Helen is dangerous. If she takes charge, so does he. But Pennington is depraved and merits no saving. What's your thinking? I have faith in Helen Priest. Step down, Captain. Perhaps you may begin to wash your guilt away. Do what you must, and face the consequences. Cast the die. I will. You failed, Captain. As an officer. As a man. You brought a curse upon the people of New Eden. No. 
The fort needs a leader without blood on our hands. I'll do it. I'll place the blame where it belongs. How Marif, how Gunjo. Life to the living. Death to the dead. Down with tyranny. Justice prevails. If we are to survive, there is much to do, and survive we shall. For the record, beyond that door, Captain Pennington was tried and executed for his crimes. We did what was needed. The story you tell is up to you. Looks like the nightmare's curse is lifted here. Job done. We need the money. We have enough. Leave me alone. Do you think only of yourself? Because no one else will. You're angry. Can tell. Of course you can. Aren't you angry? I'm more... disgusted. Disgusted by what we saw down there. Oh, Pennington and his cowardice allowed to happen. I hope they'll burn in hell. For that, I hate myself. Don't lose yourself. You've done far more than I could ever have asked. I'll do what it takes, and gladly. You need not ask it. The closer we get to my body, to the truth about what happened here, the stronger I feel. My senses rise. It's as if I can taste the silence, smell the scent of wood smoke, feel the warmth of your body, feel Deborah's wrath. I feel it as if it were my own. I know her rage. But that anger of mine, that fear, I thought when I left home, I'd left them behind. You thought by becoming a banisher, you'd overcome your anger and fear? I thought at least I'd gain control. I'm a big bad banisher. I fear no ghost. I understand now that this control was but a mere illusion. So much so that the sister I thought was gone for good seems to be winding her way back to me. Your sister, Ayomi Day, wasn't it? No. As a child, before I left Cuba, I had a friend. I chose to call her my sister. That night, the night I died, I dreamed of her. I dreamed of Calendre.
Did you go looking for her? Was she near him? It's not beyond the realm of possibility. It's so far beyond the realm of possibility you wouldn't believe it. No, she wasn't there. But I heard her voice. I'd swear on it. How could that be? Dreams can be vivid. It can be difficult to separate them from reality. I was awake, Red. What did you hear her say? I don't know. I don't remember. I think she said we were family. Never to be divided. She's after my job. She can't have it. I'm your family now. Nothing's tearing us apart. No. Not even death. Still angry? Gloriously. Ceridian? Uh, what do you mean, Ceridian? Hurry, please. Ceridian, what's wrong? Come, hurry. I need you on the island. I don't think she can hear us. We need to go back to the swamps. Was that really Ceridian? How did she pull that trick? I think maybe she used the invisible to speak to us through the crow. Pity it doesn't work both ways. Imagine having a conversation with someone far away. Can you feel it? I have goosebumps. The veil is tearing at the seam. If I bruise the bud so the spectres inside show themselves, you could shoot them. Once freed, the ivy should quickly wither.
That's for the gardening tip. We can get to that ivy from the other side. The wards have weakened. Ceridian's power wanes. Nobody's home. I can feel it. Crows. They flock to that great tree up there.
The banishers are here. Already? How unfortunate. You called us. Did I? I thought I had more time. In the end, it runs out for all of us. As I depart this old carcass, I leave no burning heart behind. Go or stay. To prevail, you must first set your heart at peace. When at last you face the nightmare, you must both be clear on what you want. You must... What do you mean? It is not for me to give you answers. Only to prepare you for what awaits. Then we can all go to sleep. Seeker doesn't hate you, Rory. She's just not used to being trusted. Protect her. For me. Too late, old moss head, as ever. Once more with feeling. Soldiers, bring me her hand. Take on, soldiers in charge. Said for now. That corpse is going to shoot. You shall take. I feel like a bloody target practice.
old moss head is no more. He'll never drink from your skull now, will he? Another ancient promise broken. But what about me? How do I live now? You're all I ever had, and all I'll ever have. <laughs> Can I set the world on fire now? I just want to see it burn. A pity. Farewell, then. She took me in when my father, when no one else wanted me. She taught me to stand up straight. Leave her be. For now. Hmm. 